Hey there, relentless goal achievers, what's going on? Eric here, and today we're talking about procrastination. How do we get through it? What is this thing that holds us back? And how do we get past it so that we can live the life we want, achieve the goals we want to achieve, and do the things we want to do? So today I'm going to give you three tips. Now, there are way more than three, but I'm going to keep this video nice and short for you. I'll give you three actionable things you can do right now to get through any area where you feel like you're procrastinating. So number one, we got to realize that procrastination is a habit. You're not a procrastinator. You have a habit of procrastination. And once you realize that, you have all the power to change any habit you want. Habits like eating sugar, smoking, drinking, drugs, whatever. We have the power to change any habit that we truly, truly want to change. So realize that it's not you. You're not a procrastinator. There's nothing wrong with you. You've just developed a habit of procrastination. Now, the causes of it could be so vast, right? It could be stress. It could be lack of self-belief. It could be lack of vision. All kinds of things cause procrastination. But regardless, it's still a habit, okay? So here we go. Uh, here are three quick tips. Number one, if you want to stop procrastination, commit to a minimum. So when I was writing this book that's right here, B2B Sales Secrets, highly recommend you get a copy on Amazon if you're in sales. When I was writing that book, I procrastinated like crazy. I didn't know where to start, what to do. So the first thing I did was I broke it down. Like I, I literally broke down, well, what are the topics? I put them in order and then I committed. I was reading a book on how to write a book and there was this advice, hey, commit to a minimum amount of pages that you're gonna write. That's what I did. I committed to 400 pages per day. No matter what, every single day I was gonna write 400 pages. And so there were days where I wrote 3,000 pages. There were days where I only wrote 400, but no matter what, I had to get my 400 pages done. And just like you have a habit, hopefully, of brushing your teeth, of stopping at Starbucks for a coffee or whatever it is that you do that you have a habit of, whatever you're procrastinating on, get set a minimum amount of whatever it is that you want to accomplish per day. So like when I did the 75 hard challenge, there was a minimum of two 45 minute workouts per day. One had to be outside. We had to read a minimum of 10 pages a day. We had to drink one gallon of water per day. And like all these things had a minimum that we, you know, we, we kept up with. So, uh, and committed to, so number one, commit to a minimum and stick to it. Once you have a minimum, then you, then it's easy to say like, Oh, I only need to do this little bit. So if you're procrastinating on making cold calls, just say, you know what? I'm going to make five. I'll, I'll just make five per day. And now if there are days that you're going to do more, great, but set a minimum for five. All right. Number two, schedule time and don't do anything else during that time. So if you say, okay, this is my time to cold call and you sit down, you got your CRM up, you're about to make the cold calls and then boop, and you know, a thought pops in, oh, you know what? You haven't checked emails in a while or this weapon of mass distraction, you know, a uh, little notification pops up and it's like, oh, I should see who that is. And we, you know, before we know it, we're on TikTok for an hour. Uh, yes, you're not the only one. That's the great news about it. Commit to yourself that you're not gonna do anything else during that time. So even if you're procrastinating, you're just gonna sit there, look at the screen, do not pick up the phone, do not check email, don't do anything else just sit there, maybe meditate, maybe ask your question, you know, ask yourself a question like, why am I actually not making the calls that I want to make? What is holding me back? And just sit still with that. But if you blocked off time, which I recommend you do, do not do anything else during that period. What you'll find it is that if you blocked off an hour, after about 15, 20 minutes of sitting there looking at the screen, you're actually going to do the thing if you, if you don't allow yourself to get distracted. And number three, I got this from Jesse Itzler. If you don't know who Jesse Itzler is, he's incredible. He's married to Sarah Blakely. He started Marquee Jet. He owned the Atlanta Hawks uh, basketball team or part owner. The guy runs ultra races. I mean, he's incredible. Jesse Itzler is probably one of my favorite speakers. And he wrote my favorite book, which is called Living with a Seal. Uh, he pretty much put David Goggins on the map. Most people don't know that. But um, he had this thing where he talks about remember tomorrow. So remember how you will feel if you don't do what you're supposed to do. 
and remember how you will feel if you do do what you're supposed to do. Perhaps you can do that during your meditation time as you're sitting there procrastinating, right? What you'll find is that you'll start an inner dialogue and you'll realize how much more beneficial it is for you to actually keep word to yourself. Do the thing that you promised yourself you were going to do and you're going to build confidence, you're going to build energy, and you're going to build momentum to do that thing more. All right, guys, so as a recap, number one, commit to a minimum that you're going to do. Number two, schedule the time to do it. Don't do anything else during that time, even if you're procrastinating. And number three, remember tomorrow. Hey, if you're not in our Facebook group, Relentless Goal Achievers Community, get in there and join it. And also check out the link for our arsenal. I got some really cool tools and free gifts for you inside the Relentless Goal Achievers Arsenal. Have an awesome day, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.